August favorites. We're in September. We're in September. It's time for people to go back to school. Get out of my house. My girl. I have a lot of new things that I got that I was excited to try and I did and now they're like yes give it to me let's get started my first favorite is an OG like I got this when I first got into makeup and it's just been sitting in my vanity and the other day I was gonna go do a client and I saw it and I was like this looks pretty clutch it is by Coastal Sense and it's a blush palette. And the other day I was gonna buy a blush and then I was like, got a clutch ass blush palette right here. I have colors for the world. Colors for me, colors for you, colors for everybody. Everybody's shade is in here. But my favorite blushes are this one that's right here and this one. Sometimes I mix them together. And I don't like to swatch blushes because they kind of they tend to look weird. But they're really pigmented. It's like a mauve color. I tend to gravitate towards cool tones when it comes to blushes because I am very warm toned. And if I wear like a really warm blush, I tend to start looking orange and red. And girl, that's not cute. My next one is this Ulta Contour Kit. This is really cool. Mine's is kind of beat up already because I use it that much. So, these are the colors. And I use this for bronzing and a base highlighter. Now, a base highlighter is just what's warming up the highlight, not the actual highlight. So that's what I like to use this guy for because he's kind of iridescent. And then for my bronzer, I use this and this. I mix these two. And they're really affordable and they're really, really good. I really like this. So thumbs up for me. Ulta Contour Kit. And they don't come in other colors. This is it. Another blush I want to show you is the Milani not luminoso thought i was gonna say luminoso i'm not it's called rose de oro and it means like gold rose in spanish it's like it looks very warm but it doesn't look warm on my skin i don't know if you can see but it has like a luminosity to it and it's it just it's just it's just pretty and it mixes in well with my highlight so anything that does my highlight well is going on my face. My next favorite is uh, mascara and it is the Voluminous Fiber Lashes. I think it's by L'Oreal. Ask me, what lashes are you wearing? I'm like, girl, I ain't got lashes on. I have another mascara that I also like. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I know I'm late on the bandwagon because a lot of people were raving about this a couple years ago, I remember, when it first came out. Well, I just got, I just got it, like maybe a month ago, and I've been using it all month. It's really, really, really good. It's really good, and I like the way it makes my bottom lashes look. And for some reason, it doesn't like my bottom lashes. Um, when I wear any other mascara, it touches my under eye, and I, throughout the day, it starts looking dark under here because the mascara is transferring onto my face. But for some reason it doesn't do it with this one. And I have the waterproof one and I didn't really like it so much. But I do like this one. The next favorite is... My next favorite is a combination of two items. And it is a liquid lipstick and a lip gloss. And I'm actually wearing it right now. It's one of my favorite lip combos that there is. It looks so nice so girly so summery and it is the Kylie liquid lipstick in candy K and the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in undress so they look like together they're awesome so I'll show you what they look like separately 
So that's them separate. And look how pretty they look on their own. Another lip gloss. I have another lip gloss and it's like a baby miniature and it's the Buxom glosses. And I got this as a gift from one of my co-workers and it's a it's a sheer gloss but it's nice when you're like just doing a kind of no makeup makeup look you know some concealer some powder mascara gloss it looks pre it looks really nice on the lips and it's this one right here it looks really nice just bare with nothing under that's how i wear it gloss in white brushing the next one i I don't even know what what this is doing on here I thought I never in a million years used this because I used to hate this foundation hate is a strong word let's say strongly dislike so it is the all day luminous weightless foundation by NARS looks like this and I, for some reason, got it in the color Syracuse because I thought I was being cute. And I was watching it and I was like, oh, I want to look tan. And I bought it. And it was way too dark. So, on top of the fact that it was way too dark, it looks, it doesn't look good on my skin. When I have oily skin, it's a luminous foundation, so it's meant to make you look do it I already look do it so I need something to make me look matte but I just wanted to try it no but then I started mixing it in with some of my foundations all of them just to see you know sometimes I want to look cute I want to look tan since I didn't go to the beach this summer it's okay I didn't and I like to look tan so I started mixing it in with my other foundations and it mixes in with almost every foundation I have so now I can't stop using it so I do like like one pump like not even no I do like one drop or half a pump into my foundation just to make it a little bit darker and I am good to go it looks amazing and mixes in well with other foundations so who would have thought NARS weightless luminous foundation ever since I saw the promo I was like I'm getting that and it's the urban decay all-nighter foundation that packaging is fire and I got it in the color 6.0 way too light that's when this comes in because I got it online because I was so thirsty I bought it online I know don't buy foundations online people the swatch of the foundation does not look like it looks in person wait until you're a local Sephora or Ulta or whatever whoever sells your foundation just wait just wait it out don't be thirsty like me I got it and it was too light it's not like oh my god but I definitely have to mix it in with a darker foundation but I wanted to try it on its own and I liked it. I really liked it. For a matte foundation, the way it sits on your skin and for some reason it still makes me look dewy. It's not like I look super powdery and dry. The only thing I didn't like about it was that the shade is way lighter than what it looked online but isn't that always the case with all foundations? Shout out to Urban Decay by the way. They did a bomb job with that concealer. Bomb job with this foundation. Shout out to you, Urban. The next thing is the Model in the Bottle setting spray. And this thing is like hairspray for your face. It lasts all day on me. I don't even have to retouch. Even my coworkers were like, bro, you're not retouching anymore. And I'm like, bro. My next favorite is the Oldie But A Goodie. And it is the Naked 3 palette. Mm -hmm. It's like a palette of rose gold. Looks like that. It's a little like, see how nice it looks? It's 
looks like a rose goldy color and I'm wearing it on my lids right now oh my next favorite is like a super favorite so I left the last two for last because they're not the last two but they're the last two makeup products for last because let me tell you when I say hot fire this is this is hot fire right now and the first one is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. First of all, let's just take a second to just, okay? Let's take a second for all of that. Then you open it, and then you see this. You really just want to, like, stare at it. Or what if I just hung it up? had it in the background like that. These are the colors. Full of colors. Look at that. That is just out of this world. I like to use them as shadow toppers. Look at my fingers. That that is crazy like that's that's unreal so I would do like a black matte shadow and then I'll do that smoky blue that was in there on top ooh, ooh girl just I'm telling you Urban Decay this show year this yours this yours you see that this is the best invention of life it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. I know. I really go. And I'm wearing um I'm wearing pink heart. This one. I'm wearing it like somewhere between my blush. You see the pink reflection? Oh. See that? That is awesome. This this is awesome. This just might get me to start wearing color brows again. Especially now that I have this black hair. I want to start doing color brows again. So. That's it for my makeup products in this video. I have two really cool things. If anybody knows me, they know what the deal is with glasses and I. I found these on the street and I was like, what? Aren't they cool? I love them. I can see everything in pink. It's so awesome. <laughs> so I think these are super cool. I got them a little late. They, they would have been perfect for this summer. But it's okay girl. They got another summer next year. Love them. Love them. Love them. They're just awesome. They're really dark, so when blinding me, sunlight. They're so I love that they're really thick right here. I don't know if you can see that. They're really thick. They've been doing this little thing with sunglasses lately where you can see behind you at the edges. And now I look for it in every pair of glasses I have and these have it. So like if you got a creep behind you, like I'm watching. I'm watching you and you just think that I'm not seeing you but I'm watching these are so cool I can't wait to wear them oh yeah guys that's it for my August favorites I'm so excited for the month of September because fall is almost here Halloween is almost here my birthday is almost here the holidays are coming so I'm really excited and I hope to see you on the next video Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.